Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and you're watching the detailed camera review of the new Moto One Action with the wide angle action camera. The Moto One Action is the latest offering from Motorola in India after launching the Moto One Vision a couple of months back. So let's find out how the camera performs in the sub 15k price segment. In terms of the camera hardware, it sports a 12 megapixel primary camera with f 1.8 aperture and a secondary 16 megapixel ultra wide angle camera with 117 field of view along with a third 5 megapixel depth sensor and LED flash. The front camera is a 12 megapixel shooter with f 2.0 aperture and screen flash is also included. So let's find out how the camera performs. First step, the daylight captures. From the daylight shots, you can see that the 12 megapixel camera offers decent clarity. The colors are quite good and details are decent. But the sharpness levels aren't too impressive, especially when you look at Moto One Vision with a 48 megapixel shooter, as it had better sharpness levels. If you zoom into the pictures, you can see that it goes a bit blurred with slight noise levels as well. We didn't see any saturation issues as such, while the processing looks quite okay. Overall, we feel at 13999 pricing, the Moto One Action's performance in daylight is quite decent. The phone also comes with Auto HDR mode which works pretty well and the dynamic range is also quite good. Looking at the close-up shots, you can see that the phone does a good job with close-up images. We had a small issue with focusing close-up images at times. Here are some of the close-up shots taken with the Moto One Action. Next step, let's move on to the portrait shots. Here again, the images looks good with the ability to manage and control the background blur. Edge detection in portrait shots are quite decent while it did miss out on edges at times. Next step, let's move on to the low light images. The phone has f 1.8 aperture and it produces decent results for a 14K smartphone. While the details are quite decent, the noise levels are too evident in the low light pictures and they come quite average. The phone also does not have night mode which is a feature available in the Moto One Vision. We are not sure why the dedicated mode, night mode was skipped on this device. So this is the video recording taken using the rear camera on the Moto One Action which supports 4K Ultra HD. There is 1080p resolution at 60 and 30 FPS. Uh, there is stabilization offered for 1080p resolution. So this is the 1080p footage taken with uh, the Moto One Action. You can see it yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the, how the stabilization works on the Moto One Action. So there is no stabilization for the 4K Ultra HD video but uh, there is 4K Ultra HD at uh, 30 FPS uh, and 1080p resolution at both 30 and 60 fps so you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and uh, also the audio output from the video sample so this is the video sample taken using the action camera or the secondary wide angle camera on the Moto One Action. So wide angle camera or the action camera is one of the highlights of this device and you can see that this has a recording in a portrait mode while the video plays in landscape mode which is kind of unique uh, a feature available and this also has electronic image stabilization. So even when I'm walking uh, with uh, the camera on you can see that uh, uh, the stabilization works pretty neatly and uh, you can check out the how the clarity of the video and also the audio output from the video there is a 1080p resolution video recording as well as 1080p is both available at 60 and 30 fps both have electronic image stabilization included in fact company claims that this is enhanced EIS which works really well so this is the wide angle camera sample taken from the Moto One Action so you can judge yourself how good the wide angle camera works or rather the action camera works on the Moto One Action. Finally the selfie experience. The 12 megapixel selfie camera on the Moto One Action takes pretty good selfies. The colors are quite good and does not saturate it and the skin tones are also pretty good. 
The sharpness of welts are also impressive. The phone also comes with a portrait mode for selfies and here again it does a quite decent job with edge detection. Since selfies are more of a personal choice, we would leave your viewers to decide on the quality based on the images. So this is the video sample taken using the front camera on the Moto One Action which can also record videos in uh, both the uh, 4K Ultra HD as well as 1080p resolution and 1080p resolution uh, supports both uh, 30 and 60 fps which is uh, kind of unique uh, in this price segment because most of the smartphones uh, limit uh, recording to uh, 1080p resolution for the front camera so here we have 4K as well as 1080p resolution on the Moto One Action. So now summing up. How does the camera on the Moto One Action stack up? The Moto One Action is a good budget smartphone price 13 to plan if you are more into videos. With support for 4K and 1080p resolution at 30 and 60 fps with EIS support and industry first wide angle action camera, Moto One Action is for people who take a lot of videos and do vlogging. The lack of photos for wide angle camera is a downside though. So the wide angle action camera recording came out pretty good and the enhanced EIS also works really well. The photos have come quite good even though it may not be the best in the segment. But overall, Moto One Action isn't a bad option for people who are more into videos. So that is a detailed camera review of the Moto One Action. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.